Exactly like uh, Jijaga, Geronimo Pratt case, <clears throat> and the, the way that they were framed. I think my father did what he did because the community needed someone to step up and and, and show some kind of leadership. He has a personality and a, a calmness, and I mean, if it were me, I would be bitter. I would be very bitter against the system, and. You know, I, I just, I admire him. I really do. It could have been any one of us. That's right. That's right. COINTELPRO picked him. They didn't have a, a, a shred of evidence against Eddie. The state is so bent on, on keeping a man like Eddie locked up and away from the community that they just refused to acknowledge even after all these years, what they did wrong, even though it's, 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 it's common knowledge. This man has done 30 years. How much more time is the man going to do considering, I mean really considering when you look at his case and you look at that trial, that the, the man was unjustly, unjustly incarcerated. Eddie has been, uh, in my experience of him, a leader throughout his time in prison and a leader for good. Uh, a leader for education, a leader for service, a leader for uh, standing up for rights. Uh, sometimes he suffered, I think, for that from the system. The system doesn't always welcome uh, that kind of leadership. Over the years, the organizers become uh, targets. And when they become targets, the efforts are made to assassinate them or to move them out of the institution uh, so that they don't have that effect on that population. But they know that if these organizers uh, are, are any good, that they'll just organize wherever they go. So they will really try, they, they'll really try to take them out, and efforts have been made to take, to take Eddie out.